folks, today I want to show you how you can update a standalone Cognos Insight workspace or CDD file with source data from a text file and have that update happen the moment a user opens a CDD file. So very quick and simple for us to do this when we're using this text file source. I will warn you if we're using a database, Cognos 10 package or other that requires authentication, there's a few other implications that we'll probably cover and save for in another video. For this one though, this will be pretty quick and simple. Three basic steps. We need a file that we want to import from and the process to import from that file. You probably already have this, so we won't focus on that too much. The next thing we need is a chore. Check out the comments section. I'll give you a link to a very basic chore that we can use to, uh, to update on open. And the last thing we need to do is just tweak a configuration file to make sure that runs. So I'll take you through the process now and we'll have some fun. So here we have a simple little CDD file that I've whipped up just to demonstrate this to you. Pretty basic. I've got a few filters that allow me to specify a channel and do some product mix analysis with some trend and variance comparison of actual to planned. And I can filter that by channel or division and so on. So very basic. But it does have the one requirement that I talked about earlier of already having a process and file to update from. So if we take a look here in my content pane, you'll see that I've got an import process called import profitability. And what I've done to be nice to my users is to also add an action button that allows them to update that on demand. So if they want the most recent information, they can click update. Now the problem with that approach, of course, is that they have to click update and not everyone necessarily will. So if I'm very concerned about them getting the most recent data in this file, what I may do is exactly what I'm about to show you, which is to create a startup chore that allows that data to update automatically when they open the file. So if you've taken the chore text from the comment section, as I indicated, the next thing you want to do is capture your process name. So mine is called import profitability. I'm going to hit F2, throw that in my buffer with a control C. So now that's on my clipboard, I can paste that somewhere. And let's go get that process you've created. So if you've created this mystartup.chore and you edit that, you'll see that there's a spot here that's called my update process. I'm going to paste in here the name of the process that I actually want to run. And in this case, that's my import underscore profitability. I'll save this fellow. And then I'm going to navigate to the folder where my instance of TM1 that we're using in that workspace has been expanded. And this is worth a little explanation. So every Cognos Insight workspace or CDD file contains a TM1 server instance, at least if you've put any data in that file at all, it contains a TM1 server instance. That instance is expanded when your workspace is open. So as soon as you open your CDD file, within your user profile, so this is my user profile location, in the .cognos insight folder, you'll see a TM1 directory which contains two further directories. One, if I were using Insight in distributed mode from a central server, it's a local copy from that central server. Another for private, so this is where our standalone workspaces get expanded. Within this, you'll see a GUID name folder. They change every time, it doesn't matter. As long as you have your CDD file open, and then you open this folder, what you'll find in here is a collection of those TM1 objects, the artifacts that we use to run this server. Now, one of them that we'll look at in a moment is the configuration file, but what we want to do is copy and paste our file there. So I'll go back to my chore, I'll copy this, and then I'll just paste that into this folder. So now we have a chore that could get executed on startup. All we need to do is tell TM1 to do that. We do that using the configuration file. So if I double click to open that file, and then I've already put this in my clipboard, but very simple command, startup chores equals, and then the name of my startup chore. If I had others, I could separate those with a colon here and add all kinds of other chores to execute on startup, but this one will do. I'm gonna save this close notepad and then do one of the most important things which is 
save the CDD file. Now if the save button isn't enabled because you haven't done anything, you haven't filtered or moved anything around, just do anything at all to trigger a change, swap rows and columns, anything you do basically will enable that save button and save that workspace. And what that's going to do is take that expanded folder we've just been working in with our configuration change and our chore file and it's just going to pack that up in that server instance. The other thing I'll need to do here to see this take effect is of course close and reopen my file. So I'll do that now and just like that my data has been updated from the most recent version. So hopefully you found this technique useful. Thanks for your time.